Things as you step outside to head to work, you're going to notice that warm air immediately, of course. So turn on the air conditioning in your car on the way to stay cool. 83 in Dallas, 80 in Duncanville and Grand Prairie, mid 70s in Mesquite. But this is the coolest part of the day before things heat up in a big way again. Back up above 100 today, probably around 100 or 101. The purple number indicates how hot it will feel. And we get that number because we basically do a calculation with the humidity and the temperature. So the more humid it is, the higher the heat index or the feels like temperature. And today it could be as high as 103 to 106 across our area. So there are a few ways to stay cool that we've been talking about. Internally you can do that by drinking cold water, but you can also do it by getting in the swimming pool or splash pad. Water helps and it's evaporative cooling that does this. So whenever you get out of the water, of course you'll have water on your skin. And the reason you get cooler is that the sun evaporates that water on your skin. And whenever evaporation occurs, that's a cooling process because the heat that's in your skin is released and that's why you feel a little bit cooler after you get out of the pool. And so this is one way and one helpful way that you can stay cool on a hot summer day. It's why we say find the swimming pool if you have that option to try to stay cool on a day like today when temperatures will get to about 101. Again, the feels like number will be higher than that both today and again tomorrow. 80 in the morning on Friday, maybe 99. The only reason temperatures may not hit 100 tomorrow is that the winds are going to come up a bit more. That means that uh, we'll have a little bit of the edge of the heat taken off, but we're still going to be looking at pretty hot conditions all the way into the weekend. Saturday, no big change, the high near 99 or 100. And we're going to stay right, or, right in that territory for early next week as well. Now, the feels like numbers, again, today near 104, but they're going to stay in that range between 100 uh, and 105 all the way through early next week. So I just don't see much of any change in our weather until possibly the middle of next week. Now, the middle of next week is the 4th of July on Wednesday, and this would be one day where we wouldn't want rain, but we do have a slight chance coming up next Wednesday. It's not a big one, and it's mainly southeast of the Dallas Fort Worth area, but that may bring high temperatures down a little bit more into the mid 90s by then. Yeah, that'll certainly help. Thanks, Jeff.